My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. You know what happens to you if you go through with this. I have everything I need to have you court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. The end is inevitable, Maverick. What are you gonna do? Nearly gone! Open the air! Open the air! Everywhere! Your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits are legendary. What he has to teach you may very well mean the difference between life and death. Your reputation precedes you. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an invitation back. They're called orders, Maverick. <laughs> what the hell? I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel and until technology evolved so we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. The first movie became something that changed a generation. So this is exciting to come back and get in those jets again. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. The aviation sequences had to be real. So our actors went through three months of grueling training. The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through that challenging underwater program. It's intense. You're flipped inverted and you're having to try and get out. From there, Tom designed this all-encompassing aviation training for all the actors. I started them out in a single-engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing! Oh, my God! Next, we took them to the L-39, and they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. It's so speed. Wow. From there, they'd graduate to the F-18 Super Hornet and actually launching off an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about. The actors also had to learn how to run the cameras because when they're up in the jet, they have to direct themselves, essentially. Okay, I'm rolling. I had to really teach them cinematography and the lighting so that they understood what's going to look good on camera. Sun angle's great. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. It still blows my mind that we've done this. There's nothing like it. His exploits are legendary. His call sign, Maverick. In the Navy, every single pilot, each have a call sign. Rooster, watch your back, Phoenix. You gotta move, Coyote. Who are your friends? Stay back. Fanboy. What do they call you? Bob. No, your call sign. Bob. Literally. When you hear their call sign, you're hearing a bit of their history. Where's he going? That's why we call him Hangman. He'll always hang you out to dry. <laughs> Call signs are kind of informal social ways that we address each other, as well as showcasing the positive message of naval aviation. We got you, Mav. Come on! Maverick, one ready. Maverick, one ready. 
Mark to range control, stand by. Alright, three, two, one. Four years, Tom Cruise returns as Maverick. This is a competition film about family, friendship, and sacrifice. It's a love letter to aviation. We're going to show you what it's really like to be a Top Gun pilot. You just can't create this kind of experience unless you shoot it live. In order for us to accomplish this, we have the greatest fighter pilots in the world working with us. We're working with a brand new camera system that allows us to put six IMAX quality cameras inside the cockpit with the actors. Verify cameras are on. Check cameras on. There you go. It's amazing what we see in the cockpit and what an audience is going to experience. Tom, all the actors becoming accustomed to the G-forces by all the training that they're doing. It is aggressive. You can't act that. The distortion in the face. They're pulling seven and a half eight Gs. That's 1,600 pounds of force. I am so proud of them and what they've done. And it is heavy duty. Oh, my God. All right. oh okay. <laughs> Putting us up in these jets, it's very serious. That's why everybody thought it would be impossible. And I think when Tom hears that something's impossible or it can't be done, that's when he gets to work. Three, two, one, turn. Aviation film like this has never been done. And chances are it will never be done again.